up guys we're going to be unboxing on this video what i'm going to do is i'm going to break down and i'm going to show you the difference between two peekaboo style side steps so the first one is what we call the shoot this is one where you're actually loading up your weight on one of your feet okay either left or right and then you're just pushing off to the side boom the second one is what's known as the domato shift all right so that's one where we're slipping down to one side and then we're twisting up to the side bang bang so if you're doing peekaboo style then you know that you're an aggressive fighter you like to come and do your work on the inside with both hands this is the best situation we're going to use the domato shift okay because off your hooks off your uppercuts and off your hooks it's easy just to slip down and then boom shoot out to the side and then when you're landing, you're landing in a position where you're fully loaded, so you can just go from the Swing around on your opponent's side and crash. Oh, they got a right uppercut. Oh. Another situation is when your opponent is actually being aggressive towards you, right? So if they're coming forward, you can just slip out of the way and then boom. Just twist out to the side, okay? Same situation, already loaded, so you can go bang, bang from the side. Another thing to, to remember is that when, when these guys are coming forward, they're fully focused this way. So when you're out to the side, they can't hit you. They have to turn around before they can hit you. So you can. I've got punch. They're getting lunges. And it gets caught. The left hand. The shoots are slightly different. You'll use these when you're being more aggressive, okay? What you're gonna do with these ones is when you're coming in, right? So bang, bang, bang. As you're coming in off the, off the back of your combos, you've still got a lot of forward momentum, so you can use that to shoot out to the side in the middle of your combos, okay? These this is the best time to use the shoot. So whatever the combo is, one thing to think about when you're trying to set up these shoots or shifts is where your body weight is at the moment, just before you do it, right? So if I'm doing a combo, right, and it's like a, let's just go 7 two, one 7 two, one right now, all my weight's on this foot. Okay, I, to be able to shoot that way, I need to transfer it to here, but I haven't set it up that way. I've set it up with all my weight on this foot, which means I'm gonna be shooting out this way. Bang. I can do the same combo, but shoot the other way if when I land that last punch, I've got the weight here. Now, what to do after the shift or after the shoot, okay? So, if I'm shooting out to my right, bang, 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 just landed a combo. I'm loading up and shooting out. I want to make sure that by the time both feet land, I'm ready to throw. And it's the same with the shift. When you're doing the shift and you're getting out, you're twisting, you're twisting your body and you're landing already ready. See how this is already ready to go? Bang. So in summary, you can use these, like you can mix this up. You can do it however you want to do it. Take the peak of style, and make it your own. But in my recommendation, use the shift when you're inside, okay? If you're more flat footed, your feet are planted, you're ripping in and then you're gonna use this move to confuse your opponent. And when you're gonna use the shoot is when you're boxing a little bit more, you're trying to keep your weight inside. Boom, boom, boom. Shoot out to the side, same thing, confuse the opponent. Boom, land some good shots.